Okay, I think it's good. Let's give it a shot. Wait, some of it's being cut off. Some of it's being cut off. Eh. Good enough. Good enough, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Oh my god, this looks so bad now. <laughs> uh... Oh, it's immediately going into the next one! Wait, that's gonna get me demonetized now. It didn't in the old days, but it will now, so I can't actually play that one anymore. Unless I do other stuff. Should have used Stealth Rock in my house? Oh, for the bug types. We did, when I was doing some landscaping earlier in the fall, earlier in the summer, uh, we did kick over a, a stump, and then there was a massive bee's nest or hornet's nest or something underground on the bottom of the stump, so then when we knocked it over, it was just like, and exploded. Uh, obviously ran away. I spent every day or every couple of days for the next like two weeks spraying the shit out of that nest with bee killer. I think I bought six bottles of the stuff and I would just constantly go to town and they just never left and never all died. They were just so persistent and I felt really bad. I was like, I want to reward you people because you're trying so hard and you just never died but eventually they have now died. I'm still, even though I know they're all gone, I'm still afraid to pick up the stump and remove it, even though that was the initial plan, was like, hey, here's a big stump, let's knock it over and take it out. I'm still afraid to touch the damn thing, but, you know, it's covered in snow. You think I could. Oh yeah, we only did it at night, I only did it at night. So that way, um, I, did, I, I did try it once during the day, just for science. Um, and obviously, yeah, they all came out pretty quick. But yeah, at night, I was allowed to get a significant attack off before they come out and fly around and hunt me down. So anyway, that was an unexpected start to this video. I was all proud that I got an intro going, and now we've wasted two minutes talking about bees. Okay, so let's check out this route. Let's talk to this guy. I'll need a bike to get up. There's a cycle shop in Eternia City. And I just remembered I want to get rid of one of the Carol Baskins as well. Not like there's a downside to having two of them. I just don't want to have two of them. I don't know. Get out. Uh, and then there's more. Joe Exotic, Carol Baskin, and now another Carol. Wait, which one? Okay, so you don't have one? Okay, so keep that one. Move this one. No, I didn't want to do that. There we go. Okay, lots of shinks. Speaking about bees, you can get a Snorlax from the honey. Don't you get a Munchlax, you mean? And also, isn't that incredibly rare? But I've already got a Snorlax, so we're good. Um, although we could! We could actually use Snorlax. He would fit our self-imposed rule of using things you've never really used, ever. I've never used Snorlax in a campaign, and I very rarely ever use Snorlax. I think, I, honestly, I think I've only ever used them in roulettes. I don't think I've ever had a team that used Snorlax. So, yeah, it wasn't like Munchlax and Heracross, just disgustingly hard to get, super rare. So, okay, there's nothing else this way. Can I break this rock now? No? Okay. So I... If this is progression, then I shouldn't go this way, should I? Is there a sign that tells me where or what's up next? Mm. This is probably the progression out, isn't it? Which means then backtracking would be the right play. I don't even know how much backtracking there is there, but... Oh, there's no invisible item here, you serious game? It's just some items. Bro, you don't know who I am, do you? <laughs> I have a compulsive need to find everything. Curiosity killed the cat. Oh. 
Okay. Perfect. He basically just told me that I'm not going to get very far. Which, we knew we weren't going to get very far. How should I say it? I don't know. Whatever. We'll go up here. Maybe there's something new to catch. Wait, is this actually it? No! Oh, that's so funny. Invi I could tell it was an invisible item. RPG senses were tingling. Wow, we debated for like eight minutes on what we were going to do. It's literally just this. And to think, like, I just never went in the grass. But if I had gone five, six steps in the grass, I would never... Oh, I would totally be down for a Machop. But I'm not going to be able to get a Machamp. So I don't want one if I can't get Machamp. But it might be worth catching one, just to have one. I mean, with the EXP share, there's no downside now. There's no reason not to have one. You know, he can just sit there and then never be used, but at least he'll level up, right? I'm okay with that. <laughs> Machoke with EVLA. There we go. Oh, okay. Leer apparently breaks my game. We had LSD last video, and now we've just got the light of the next world. Uh end of the tunnel to the, to the further beyond. Okay. <clears throat> yeah! I, boy, I wish we could see. That'd be great. Alright, who wants to nickname the Machop? Eventual Machoke. What's our Machop name? It hefts a Graveler repeatedly to strengthen its entire body. So you feel like he would be extra effective at beating up Geodude Line, you know? Chuck. That's actually really funny. It uses every type of martial arts. So he's like Neo and they just, I want to learn Kung Fu and just, here, have all of it. <laughs> okay. Alright. John Cena. <laughs> Macho Man, Randy Savage, Hulk Hogan. How did I not see that one first? I saw Chuck first, which is funny because he like throws Geodudes. All right, so we got three different wrestlers in here and then we have Chuck. So those of you who picked one name, if not your name, what's your next favorite name, The Rock? But he's a fighting type. If there was, like, a rock fighting that we caught, I'd go with that. Okay, great. Now we have five... We now have five name options. Alright, so John Cena has a second vote of Chuck. 18 CW and Fern? What about you guys? And Chuck has a secondary vote of John Cena? Love it! Love it! You, you can't... God, Fern! <laughs> Just pick it random. I don't have any dice with me right now. Uh, I don't know where my dice went. So it's going to be real hard. Alright, so if we're going to go John Cena, Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, and Chuck, that's one out of four, right? So in order, uh, D4, in order that they appear, I rolled four ducks! The last one was... Oh, we forgot about The Rock. Well, whatever. Too late. The Rock doesn't count. So Hulk Hogan, Chuck, John Cena, and Macho Man. Alright, so he is... Should we actually go with Macho Man or should we say Randy Savage? Rigged. Macho Man, however, can actually be a double reference to Punch-Out. Therefore, Macho Man is superior. Oh my god! Move over! Graveler would be the rock. <laughs> Machop man. Too late. Alright, that's where we are. We're probably we will probably never use him, but 
He can just sit there in the bench and be fine. Did I pick correctly? <laughs> it's alright. It was a double reference, man. It fit the wrestler theme and it fit a punch-out theme. I, I think that's the correct choice. Just gonna get a couple more encounters here just in case there's something else that we haven't encountered yet. One more encounter. No, it's just gonna be all the same stuff. There might be a rare encounter like Onyx or something, but there's not gonna be like, ooh, I want this on my final party. So we'll just leave. That's fine. We have now spent 11 minutes catching one Pokemon and finding some items. I guess let's be fair. We did essentially eliminate an entire path which was the goal of backtracking. We could backtrack to go here. Oh my god, that would have been such a disaster. Uh, let's go around the trainers. A wild Bidoof! Wait, why would a wild Bidoof when I actually know something with the move? Okay. Zubat? Oh my god, if we found another shiny Zubat, I'd be so upset. Oh my god, I would have been so mad. Okay, Zubat is is exempt from our shiny rule, alright? I'm just gonna say that now. Zubat is exempt from it. Because we already got a shiny Zubat in Unbound. Um, do we want to backtrack all the way? I think so, right? Because that way is probably story progression. I think. No! I don't want to fight trainers. Crobat's not bad. I know, but we are using Crobat in our Pokemon Unbound playthrough because it was shiny. I'm not going to do that again. With the rule of use only things we've never used before and the rule of if we find a shiny, we're using it no matter what. Finding a shiny Zubat when I just found a shiny Zubat in the last game? I Dude, I, oh, this is not a... Damn it. Um, yeah, shiny side up would be amazing. Because I honestly have no idea what my water type is going to be. He's not broken with Shinx. I think I used a Shinx up until, like, mid-level 20s in the first game. The first game. The initial release, um, but I'm pretty sure it got replaced halfway through the story. Uh, and it was just like, you know, you caught the Shanks because it was what was available early, and so everybody gets them, and then you use it because it's electric, and there's not a whole lot of electric options for most of the game, but I don't know, I don't really consider that as counting. Like, I have to have something besides the starter, too. once I get the Explorers. Man, you guys are making me think that all I'm going to do is play the Underground. That's scary. <laughs> okay, there was... Oh, is this the progression? Because it's through the... Si oh, no. They look straight out of Galaxy Quest. <laughs> Which I just found out, like, last week, and obviously this is not, like, a thing people can find, or, like, just find out. Like, you either know it or you don't care. Uh, freaking Dwight Schrute was in Galaxy Quest, and I never realized, because it was so much earlier. These miscreants. Show them some manners. Is that, like, the polite Kingsman way of saying you want me to beat them up? Jesus. Wait. Piplup. Oh, this isn't the rival. This is the assistant. I was like, hold on a second. How do you have Piplup now? They kind of look like Spock. Exactly, dude. They're straight out of Galaxy Quest. Um, well, 
They resist me. Good thing I have tackle still. Let's hit Zubat. Bat. Oh good, we hit the same target. Come on! Hit the damn hip lip! I do like the the way the poison thing looks. And having it flash to show the level is mostly irrelevant because your level almost never matters in fight, in battle. Um, but I feel like it draws additional attention to it. It's like the perfect shade of purple, it's a good color. Uh, I like it. <laughs> CW. <laughs> I did use two starters the first time through because of the GTS. At some point, I don't remember exactly when, probably a couple of badges in, I traded a Bidoof for a Piplup, so, you know. Madness? The two of us? Losing to children? Yo, I'm the best it's ever been. This mission's a failure. Whoa, they were rich. I guess there were two of them. Ninety percent of all Pokémon are somehow tied to evolution. Would not evolving be somehow tied to evolution? Because you're not evolving. Whatever. All right. Uh, so then, is this not the backtrack way then? My name's Babe. <laughs> uh, Baby? BB? Whatever. Hey, we can now do the capsules. How do I do this? I never did it before. One of my friends, Cooper, loved it though. And Super Blah likes it too, for that matter. Uh, okay, I want to select Pokemon. You. Select. Uh, place sticker. Ooh, what are these things? Okay, well, it should probably be something type-oriented to him, right? I don't have anything grassy at the moment. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have anything grassy right now. Can I, like, remove... Oh, maybe I just remove stickers. I don't care about flower petals. Like, we can, we can do some of these, right? I've got three party stickers. That's okay. That's something. What's this one? Ribbons. Alright. Put some party stickers up here. Let's put some ribbons over here. Alright. And, uh... Sure. We'll just leave it at that for now. Oop. Nice. Now I have to spam like the whole thing. I'm gonna wait to get more stuff! <laughs> I 
want it to make some sort of sense with their typing. That's all. Alright. We had fun. That's what matters. Doing different stuff than I never did before. Trying to have fun. Alright, uh... So this makes it seem like this is the story progression route. As opposed to the other route in that cave. Which one? Okay, just which one is the story and which one's the side way? Because I don't want to do this... Uh, I don't want to fight this trainer either. Turn. 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 Oh, you suck so bad. Okay, there's nothing up here anyway. I think I already fought that guy. I probably already fought her too. Okay, well. Up is story and to the right. They're both story? Whatever. We're gonna go back here. I've decided. I've committed. We're gonna do this one. We have now wasted 21 minutes and done absolutely nothing. <laughs> Get me out of here. I probably should have a bird for when I eventually get fly, right? I can catch a bird anytime, it's fine. Time is at 2 o'clock? Alright. For me. Oh, I'm still poisoned? I forgot about that. I forgot about that because the game is easy mode and I don't get hurt from poison from walking around anymore. Alright. Are there actually wild Bidoofs here? Or is that just the game being like, haha, Bidoof HM Slave, he's always gonna be the wild thing that shows up and does your HM for you. Yeah. Yeah, he pretty much is. Couldn't he learn, like, five different HMs or six different HMs? Um, yeah, he could even learn... Actually, did Whirlpool exist in Gen 4 or did they get rid of that? But yeah, he could even learn, you know, the watercraft. Flash! You just needed Skarm for Fly and then whatever you didn't teach the Doof. Because there's too many HMs in the game. Is that a bike? It's a bike. A bag of stardust. Sweet. Okay, so this is as far as I can go for now. Okay, so it took us 21 minutes to decide which path we were going to go and how we were going to do it. And we ended up having like two screens of stuff to do. What a waste of time. <laughs> what is Stardust? It's a random item that you just sell for money. That's it. I guess it's their way of like giving you cash without giving you a nugget, because nuggets are a lot. I don't want to fight that trainer. Actually, didn't I accidentally fight it? Yeah, that's another way of thinking. It's not the way my brain wants to, because my brain wants to be like, hey, as soon as I have access, the earlier I do it, the better it is, because the whatever benefits I can get from doing the thing on the side, I just have those benefits for longer because I did it earlier. That's just how my brain processes it. You know what the purpose? What is it? It's it's just it's stardust, particles of matter of rock and minerals and and I, it's a good question <laughs> uh wow only one flash tm that's hilarious where's treasures oh here they are it's lovely red sand that flows between your fingers with a loose silky feel that's what it is i should probably heal up because i'm poisoned
dead ground. Whoa, that's dark. <laughs> it, yes, it's red sand. It, didn't it say red sand? There we go. There's the dead answer. Hell yes. It reminds me of my one of my favorite popsicle stick jokes. What's big, red, and eats rocks? What's big, red, and eats rocks? It's a big red rock eater! Ah! Of course it is! Duh! It was funny when I was a kid. Because you're just like, oh man, what could it be? Like, Clifford's big and red, but he probably doesn't really eat rocks. Like, what does eat rocks? And then being red? Like, huh, what kind of things would eat rocks? Huh. Some birds sometimes eat rocks to help mash up you know, the, the food, and then they just get rid of them. But are there, like, do, do cardinals eat rocks? But they're not big. Are there big cardinals? Are there albatross? Oh, it's literally just a fake thing. Oh, I see. I don't know, I thought it was funny. Why did the police officer smell? Uh, because he was on, oof. All right. Clifford looks like a lab, so he might eat rocks. I mean, he might. Ooh, do we go left or right now? Let's go left. I almost always go left first. I wish this was faster. A little bit faster. Hey, Rock Tomb! Can I teach Rock Tomb to... to... to my buddy? Nope, because I only have one of it. He can't learn it anyway. And chose Turtwig. You just now noticed? Bro, this is like episode four. We've got like four hours of game time at this point. Oh, okay. So you, you're not one of those VOD watchers then. Got it. You, you've chimed in in chat a couple of times. Like, weren't you one of the first people here? I was like, hey, Kawazuka. Right, Matt Flat? You just see chat. All right, I see how it is. I see how it is. Is this a trainer? Nah, that's fine. I'll fight. Not if it's strong enough. That chick is probably a trainer. You found an awakening. Hey, we're woke now, boys! Oop. Damn it. While smelling the aroma of flowers. You know, I don't have a sense of smell. I think I'd rather just... Just not. Taylor? Wow, what a way to spell Taylor. That's insane. I've never seen that before. I don't know if I think that that's super cool or super weird. Landshark! Wait, you're not home yet. It's only 2 o'clock. Pit stop at a gas station or something? Or just... I don't know. <laughs> you're stopped for a bit. I told everyone the story, especially Fern, because Fern was like, Man, those donuts were great. I wish I had some today. I was like, yeah, Landshark ate my donut this morning. Like, what the hell is that? I was excited for donuts, and my donut was gone. <laughs> uh, razor leaf? No, I have to tackle here. Most NPCs have perpendicular vision. Right? You snooze you? Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, that's literally what I was doing. I was snoozing. And I lost. <laughs> All spare and love and donuts. Was it red velvet or was it a cherry? The, the, your second donut. Speaking of cherry.
Wait. See, I expected it to be not very effective. So these moves will tell you when it's super effective, but they won't tell you when it's not very effective? Come on, game. Do better. Do better, game. Do better. You've got your hat. You're literally halfway there. Taylor is the worst way to spell that name. I don't like. I don't know. I think it's kind of cool, but it's also definitely rough. So I, I, I think I'm leaning toward I don't like the spelling. It tells you after you've encountered. It. Oh, that makes sense because I haven't beat that thing up yet. It's not in my Pokedex. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, game, you're doing this perfectly. She likes the smell of defeat in the morning? Whatever. Taylor won. <laughs> okay. Uh, no! I tried to stop! Like... Like, uh, umpire, check. Did I did I go forward? Did I break the plane? No. I'm still right under the sign. We can one-shot the- Oh, now- Okay, now it's down. You fucking zooming kids. God, you're not even zoomers. You're like young zoom- Like, what's after zoom? I don't know. You're super zoomers. I'm gonna mess your kids up. I only have two Pokemon. I don't- I have three Pokemon, actually. <laughs> Uh, I wish I had a ground move right about now, but I don't. Bite the squirrel, I guess? Zoomies? Zoomers 2, Zoomer squared, right? Zoomer squared. Thanks for stopping on by. Let us know. Obviously, I know you will once you eventually get home, but... Really and more Razor Leafs, because it hits both. And then bite the other one, because... Do it. Charm! Okay, good. You didn't charm the right one. Good, they're charming the wrong one. Stupid. Hell yeah, it's AoE. Imagine if both of them charmed me. I would be hitting them with a minus four razor leaf. I'd have a I'd be having a rough time. Oh yeah, double squirrel knockout. Damn, look at that EXP! Holy crap, I've been getting like plus 40 from random battles. Two high-level Pachirisus, and the game is giving me all this catch-up EXP. What do you think I am? A jungler that got destroyed early on? AFK support? You said you'd one-shot me. You didn't even hit me! I guess I did. Oh, Razor Leaf is a high crit chance, you're right. Alright, we need cut. Ugh. What's that over there in the very corner? Does my mouse show on here? Yeah, what's, what's this over here? That's a thing. There's a thing right there. Um, okay, let's go down this way. What if I jump down? Is that gonna be bad? It's probably gonna be bad. Ooh, bullet seed. Do I want bullet seed? Hmm, I don't think I do. Razor Leaf is probably better. That's 25 power, okay. I didn't... I thought it was actually less than 25. Of life box access? Uh, what? Okay, so it, it did used to be 10 power, I'm not insane. Hmm. Okay. But at 25 power, it would be single target whereas raise relief is AoE but I don't plan to get involved in a lot of double battles. So Bullet Seed's probably better then. It, it can't miss, which is a boost. 5% more accurate is nice. 
I missed the word quality somehow. I don't know how I missed the word quality. <laughs> um, but yeah, so far, a lot of the little changes... See, part of it is, is interesting. I never played 6th, 7th, or 8th gen. So, some of them, I don't know what's just like, this is standard in Pokemon games now. And what of them are, this is something we're doing now for this game. I imagine most of the stuff is just, this is just the way Pokemon works now. Um, why did the astrophysicist go looking in the dirt? Uh, astrophysicist. Well, something with astrology in the dirt. Hmm, I don't know. Why would the astrophysicist go digging in the dirt? But I think we're gonna go with Bullet Seed. I only get one of them, but I don't plan to have a second Grass type anyway. Um, and it's never going to be better than it is right now. What do I want? Bullet Seed on coverage for something else? <sighs> I have no idea. Screw it. Looking for wormholes. Ah, I like it. I like it. That's good. That's good. Bullet Seed is good against rock types of sturdy. That's true. I don't know. I, I was never a huge fan of infinite TMs in the first place. But part of that is my incessant OCD need of like wanting to balance everything and blah blah blah. Oh, I thought you would give me a berry if I said whatever. Um, so like when I like, oh, TMs are now infinite, it's like, okay, well on one hand, now if you get like a good TM, like Ice Beam or whatever, now you can just teach that to everything. And it takes like the value out of the fact that you have limited resources of some of the best stuff. And now every, but you get an Ice Beam and you get an Ice Beam and you know, whatever. Um, and so I feel like in story mode specifically, it just gives you way too much power creep and too much versatility and it removes any significance of your investment, too. Like, fine, I'll just teach Ice Beam to this Bibarel because why not? And then later on, all right, now I'll teach Ice Beam to something better. As opposed to, like, no, I'm going to hold off on this. Um, obviously, post-game, it gets a little bit different. When you want to use different stuff and try, you know, whatever, um, then, yeah, you should have access to the TMs again. Because having one of stuff when now you're trying to train and catch, you know, unique and different things. Yeah, you should be able to have a little bit more access, but um, you're not trying to balance the campaign for what people are going to eventually do in competitive with, you know. Like having one Stealth Rock TM in campaign, like sure, whatever. Having one Stealth Rock camp campaign TM for the campaign but for competitive, obviously, really, really sucked. So, I feel like there should be some sort of way that, like, maybe after the Elite Four, now the TMs, like, become a different type of item where now you can use them more often or something. Um, so I like... Sorry, there's a small bug in my face. Or maybe it was a piece of dust, I don't know. Um, you know, maybe having multiple versions of... There is a bug got it this time. Hey, I did get it this time. Um, you know, now I've got multiple TMs to sell. If money was an issue, now I kind of have more money, so, like, that's not ideal either, but, um, I think having a small handful of the TMs is a really good way to go about it, because it still matters when you commit to using them, but you also aren't, like, super restricted where... If you mess up or you get something later on that you don't know about, like if you pretend that you don't know everything and you weren't on the internet, you know, whatever, you're just a kid playing the game, then, you know, it, it makes it more difficult to like mess up. You don't have to worry about it. So I really like the, uh, you know, you get a small handful of them. Between three and five of each TM, I think is perfect. 
but it would be nice if post-game after the E4, you either have a way to get all of the TMs available, whether you buy them at a store or get them with battle points or whatever, they should all be active so that you have access to infinite numbers of them, if not just straight up make them infinite use after you beat the game. So... Yeah, or just have different item types, you know? You know, so that way you can have an Ice Beam TM and an Ice Beam TR. And then, depending on where you are in the story, you don't give people too much of too powerful moves too early, and then they just power creep the campaign, whatever. Um, I don't know. Like, obviously, I'm, I think way too hard about it all, but that's where I'm at. Um, flower Shop, Pokemart. I don't even think we went in the last Pokemart to shop, did we? I mean, because... It's early, it's not like there's going to be anything special in there. Although there might have been an NPC that was like, Hey, have you seen this item? Here, try one! And give me an item, I don't know. I'm here to buy. Ooh, cool stuff. Don't I have some of these? I thought somebody gave me heal balls. Whatever, I'll buy a few. You know what, I'll just buy ten because then I get a premier ball. Even though buying ten is way too many, it's fine. Potion, Super Potion, Antidote, Paralyze Heal, Awakening, Burn Heal. I'll buy three Burn Heals just to have, because I like just having a couple of them. I'll buy two Ice Heals just to have. I'll buy one more Escape Rope, because I like having two uh, Repels. I'll buy a couple Repels, but not too many, because I'd rather just buy Super Repels later. I don't need any more potions. I don't need water or bug. I'm not buying 10 of these, that's all my money. <laughs> that's all my cash though. But you know what, I'll buy two. I'll buy two. It'd be nice if I could have bought two of these and eight heal balls and still get the premier ball. That would be nice. I could probably sell some of these regular Pokeballs, but it's fine. So, alright. I can sell the Stardust, actually. How do I... Oh, I can't sort them from here? Okay, that's fine. There we go. These Stardusts were Netballs. Who knew? The whole time. They're mostly pointless. Yes, mostly. But, early on in the game, when you're running around with two or three Pokemon only... It's possible that they can be cool. Um, okay, cool stuff. What was the sort button? Wait, what's this? Oh, favorite? If I favorite the item, does that sort it to the top then? Okay, what if... Let's just try it. If I favorite you, and now sort. Oh, so what's the point of favoriting it? Does that mean that one's that's the one that comes up in the encounter with like the quick... The quick selection or whatever. You can sort favorite first. Oh. Okay. Haha. -ha! We did it, boys. But now, what if I do this now? What if I do this? Sorry, there's another bug. I'm trying to. I missed that one. Damn. Um, okay, so now I would want Dusk Ball above Heal Ball. So what if I do this? Nope, it reorganizes them again. Damn. And if I get that off... Yeah, okay. Oops! How can you fave Pokeballs and Heal Balls? What do you think? I like all of them! They're all my favorite. Okay, uh, so that's probably the best I'm gonna get them. And once we eventually get Ultra Balls, I'm gonna have to get rid of all of my Great Balls so I can have Ultra Poke Premier. I wish these could then go alphabetical, but they'll just go the way they go. Oh, I wonder if this is by order 10 2, 1? No, there's no way. Hey, GB. You know, I would expect that from, like, Tiger of the Gale. 
to try and throw that, that line in there. So, I know, right? There's no manual sorting. I hate it. Ah, oh, how is this going to sort? Ah! Okay. Um. Okay. There. Okay. Now we're good. As long as we have limited items, we're good. Um. Holy crap, we're at 45 minutes of recording? I did not know that. Did not know. Uh, so that'll be it for this YouTube video. And then we'll start another one. Where am I gonna go next? What are we doing next? What are we here for? Route 205? Uh, probably Route 205. Maybe check out a couple of the, the, the buildings. But that's where we are for now. And uh, see you guys next video. Peace.